Yo, what's going on people? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be breaking down how Southside makes that signature dark sound for people like Future. Let's get into it. Alright, before we get into anything, I'm just going to show you guys the loop. So for this beat, I'm working in 150 beats per minute. I would say go from 145 to like 160 even maybe like 165 for these kind of south side beats. So to start off with, I'm using this sound from Analog Lab 5. It's called Wobbly something. I don't know what that word says, it's a bit mad. But anyway, this is what that's playing. So that sounds very messy, high pitch and a bit crazy, but we're gonna put some effects on it and it'll sound better afterwards. But all I've done is just play around with notes in chord and I've just kind of strummed them up and down with a little top line going on. And for the mixing, I'm using Arpomatic and I've put it all the way down here on dry. And of course the signature half time, and then I put it to half loop, two times mode, and the smooth knob all the way down here, just so that it fades in and out of the effect. And then with both of those things, it sounds like this. And next up, I converted this out as an MP3, and then I pitched it down four semitones and I reversed it, and then I just looped that over. So the next sound is my favourite piano, which is Noir Pure, and that's just playing this. And then another signature sound for these kind of loops is this dark bell here. And for the mixing, I've got a 3D reverb, and then I've got a delay so that it hits on every beat. So next up is kind of the lead, and it's this bell from a one-shot kit. And I've got this one panned to the right 28%. Now I've got a fruity reverb and a chorus. So next up, I'm using this string from Omnisphere. I don't really have many good strings, so if anyone has any they can recommend, just please let me know, because I need a new VST for that. And then I've got this one panned to the left by 28%, and then that's all of it for the mixing. So that's all of the parts to the melody and then I just stemmed it out, arranged the whole part here and then I can export it and send it out to people. Sorry if this tutorial felt a bit short and rushed, I'm just on a bit of a rush today. But anyway, I'll be back next time with a better video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below what kind of stuff you want to see next and I'll see you guys next time.